couldn't be happier that my family and I are covered. You can be covered too. Go to the health insurance marketplace at healthcare.gov. That they're telling us something that is, that to me is like old former Soviet Union propaganda. Doesn't it sound like it to well, you? The thing, about it, the thing about it is if it's so good and it's free and it's going to be so easy to get on the website, why do they have to advertise to get you to do it? Why are they going door to door trying to convince people that Obamacare is so great? I mean, if it's supposedly free and cheaper and it's going to be the best thing since sliced bread, why do we have to convince people to go buy it? I think they're deathly afraid that young, healthy people are going to look at this and say, this isn't any better than what I've got currently, and it may be more expensive than what I have currently. All right. I love what you're pushing here, and this is a constitutional amendment for Congress, and that is that the laws and burdens they place on we the people, that they must apply to them as well. What a great idea. Well, Martin Luther King wrote in the letter from a Birmingham jail, he said that a just law is a law that applies to everyone, has to be binding on everyone, and that if you exclude certain special interest groups from a law, that's the exact definition of an unjust law. So I think this is an amendment that really everybody ought to be able to agree to. There have been a lot of times in our history, originally, Congressional members were exempt from Social Security. That's not true now because people got mad about it. But really, the law should be applied equally to everyone. I think that's a basic precept of the law. So I really think maybe we'll get yeah. some uh, bipartisanship on this, and maybe we'll get it passed. We'll see. All right, let me play one other cut for you. Uh, and this is the president, Jay Carney, Kathleen Sebelius, who I, I think should be fired. But anyway, this is them in denial about how bad this thing is. Listen to them, and I want you to respond to them. This system is not failing. Hundreds of thousands of Americans are submitting their applications successfully to uh, get into the system and enroll in Obamacare. All this person has to do is fill in their name, and the computer's like, what are you doing to me? You know. <laughs> Why, why is it so hard? It's better today than it was yesterday, and it will keep getting better. And all told, more than half a million consumers across the country have successfully submitted applications through federal and state marketplaces. While the website will ultimately be the easiest way to buy insurance through the marketplace, it isn't the only way. Now, I want to emphasize this. Even as we redouble our efforts to get the site working as well as it's supposed to, we're also redoubling our efforts to make sure you can still buy the same quality affordable insurance plans available on the marketplace the old-fashioned way, offline. Now, before you answer, here's the president. Say, oh, it's so easy as buying a TV on Amazon. Look at this. Just visit healthcare.gov, and there you can compare insurance plans side by side the same way you'd shop for a plane ticket on Kayak or a TV on Amazon. You enter some basic information, you'll be presented with a list of quality, affordable plans that are available in your area with clear descriptions of what each plan covers and what it will cost. You'll find more choices, more competition, and in many cases, lower prices. Most uninsured Americans will find that they can get covered for $100 or less. It's all not true. What's your reaction to what they say versus what the reality is? Well, the thing is about this, Sean, is this is a fundamental misunderstanding. Liberals have no idea of how capitalism works. They have no idea why, when you go to Walmart, products are cheap, how they get from one point to the other, and how they're distributed in such a cheap fashion. Imagine this. Imagine if we took Obamacare and put it in Walmart, and you had a $10 copay, and then you could fill your card up with whatever you wanted. That's what would happen. I mean, it's a disaster, but they don't understand the intricacies of how the profit motive and how you, uh, the efficiencies that go into distribution and trade and how you can get something, you know, a T-shirt now for $9 because of global trade efficiencies in the marketplace. The government can never duplicate that because the government is inherently inefficient. Well said. Senator, good to see you. Thank you.